Welcome to Dirt Rag TV. Um, Dirt Rag is known as uh, presenters of things innovative, unusual, kind of underground. We have a long history of uh, talking to and helping to promote the people that are kind of on the forefront of uh, mountain bike innovations. Um, today we have a couple people who are experimenting with another new wheel size that's uh, come into play, 650B or 27.5, 27.5. Um, it hasn't yet come up with a, uh, a catchphrase like 29 or I guess we can call it 27 and a half or um, <laughs> So I thought we'd talk to a couple of the people who are building bikes using this wheel platform and see the whys, the hows, the advantages. Um, we have a couple, we have three very beautifully painted bikes to show today. The first is one from Engine Cycles. Um, this bike has a couple of purposes. It is uh, a 650B bike and it also is for a cause. Um, it's one of the bikes that you may have seen around with, uh, decorated with some pink components. Um, the purpose of which is to uh, benefit Susan Komen the Susan Komen Foundation. Thank you. <laughs> this is a beautiful bike. Got a rigid white brothers carbon fork on the front of it it's got a split top tube that goes all the way down to the back axle i like the fact that it's not completely pink it's got some blue in there kind of sets it off would you like to tell us some more about it how you uh how you decided to use this wheel size what you think the advantages are yeah i mean for me it was the ability to build a small enough bike and offer a larger than 26 inch wheel advantage. And this bicycle is designed around, say, five foot one, five foot two rider. It has a, okay. an extremely short top tube at, at 20 and a half inches with no toe overlap. And okay. the, the main purpose for me was to continue building anything larger than 26 inch offerings and, and extending my size range all the way down to a 10 and a half inch center to center. Okay extra extra small bicycle and why did you want to go with anything larger than 26 inch I, f I honestly feel that the 26 inch wheel is a disadvantage okay. and anytime you can get a bigger wheel and, and not have it be a hindrance and it, you know this the 650b allows me to offer the best product possible now to all riders okay um, now do you have you ever experimented with 29-inch wheels? Yeah, I mean, 75% of my sales are 29-inch wheels. Do you do anything bikes. in 26-inch wheels, or do you just... Nope. Okay. And was that, I mean, is that your personal riding experience? Is that talking to a bunch of uh, people? A little bit of both. I mean, I, I've never ridden a 26-inch wheeled bike since the first day I rode a 29-inch wheeled bike. Really? It, uh, <laughs> That's a common It was pretty thing, instantly actually. retired. Yeah. And I've watched an incredible amount of people step up in their their abilities as well as their enjoyment factor you know it, it, i'm not building bikes so people that get paid to race their bikes i'm building them so that people enjoy riding their bikes and right. you know you can argue with me all day that a 26 inch wheel bike accelerates faster it's faster in a race situation fine but paying customers want to enjoy riding their bike and when you make yeah. it over a log and when you make it through a rock garden and when you ride for six hours and you don't feel like you just got beat up. The 29-inch wheel has an incredible offering, except you can't build it for someone under 5'4". Right, and right. And this is the, the, the perfect match the for answer. the small rider and, and, and any advantage over 26-inch wheel. Um, now, why did you choose to go with a rigid fork on this particular model? White Brothers does actually make a suspension fork for this platform, but uh, the majority of the, the riders that are doing a single speed bike opt for the rigid fork because it kind of balances it out. You have a light front end, a light rear end. Right. Uh, White Brothers was one of the many companies that was very, very nice, and they gave, they gave us the fork. Phil Woods anodized the hub's pink. You know, every part that you see on this bike was donated to this project, and it, it was actually the parts that I wanted to choose, but you know the companies were kind enough to, to give us. Yeah, that's great. Um, I especially like the uh, the pink Crank Brothers pedals. Yeah, the they uh, they do them occasionally, and that was actually the last edition. They showed up on Friday at around three o'clock. <laughs> so, 
would you agree with the 650B size that it has the effect of you don't need as you don't need suspension or you don't need as much suspension as with a 26 inch wheel bike? I mean, I, I, I can't say that with, with enough uh, ride time to truly answer it. The, the advantages that I find with the, the 650B in design qualities is obviously the small bike. I think that in full suspension, I think it opens up a ton of doors where you know, you're know you restrictive in wheelbase lengths and things like that with the 29 inch wheel and, and longer travel bikes. People are doing it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best option. Right. And I think that the, the 650B lends itself quite well to a, a full suspension design that, that currently uses 26 inch wheels. And all you have to do is maybe extend the chain stays a little bit, give it a little bit more tire clearance and get a little rollover capacity of the bigger wheel, but yeah. still sticking with the geometry of the 26 inch full suspension. I've definitely heard other people say that, that the 650B will lend itself to longer travel full suspension. I haven't seen any bikes yet. Yeah, Hero is experimenting, but they actually were capable of fitting it in their existing bike. Oh, that's true. I, and I glimpsed it, that yesterday at Dirt Demo. Didn't get a it's, it's to hard try to it. test ride a six inch travel bike on a, on a dirt demo that doesn't have six inch travel terrain. <laughs> so, true. you know, you can't test ride a six inch travel bike and be like, it didn't accelerate well. Yeah. Well, it's a six inch travel bike. I mean, right. you know, it's, it's an all mountain bike and it, it will probably perform better in all mountain conditions than yeah. a 26 inch wheel version. Yeah, actually, I'll be eager to try that, that Haro out at some point on some six inch travel terrain. Um, now, why? Well, tell us about your frame design. It, the double top tube is uh, is not necessarily a standard for us. I mean, I you knew that's what I was going to ask. <laughs> I, I definitely did it on this bike for a function first, in, in yep. order to make a bike this small, and keep the chain stays as short as I did on this design. It, it would be nearly impossible to to come around the tire, intersect the C tube, and and have it be very aesthetically pleasing. Right. So, I opted for the the consistency of the straight top tubes into the chain stay, uh, into the seat stays and, and kind of sweeping it out a little bit. Right. I feel like it has a nice flow to it. It, it doesn't uh, It does. It, it doesn't looks, look odd. And you right. see a lot of small bikes that, that look odd. And it has a good bit of standover clearance. Too. It has a You're ton of standover to clearance. Uh, you know, th there's a lot of full suspension bike designs that are out there. They're very wide in their design. So it, it, it doesn't necessarily, it's not wider than a lot of bikes that are already on the market. Right. And, and it's the, little. It is little. It's it's hard to tell at first glance that the wheels are any different size. Yeah, it looks like a two niner. I, I was gonna say it looks like a twenty six inch. <laughs> I suppose everyone will think it looks something different. You almost have to see all of them lined up in a row to see yeah, the difference. Yeah. Um, do you have any production frames? No, everyone is done per order. Uh, th this is actually oh, only okay. the third That's... bike that I've ever built that didn't have an end user in mind. It, I've, we have enough female customers and, and enough like, you know, five foot two, five foot three customers that I was able to base, you know, the negative drop stem, the length of the stem, the 170 crank arms. I mean, a everything should be pretty much there that, that yeah. whoever might in the end own this bicycle when it gets raffled off, that I, I really feel like it's going to be a, a good fit yeah. for either a five foot two, five foot three, uh, you know, someone who can even be five foot four, but, but wants a shorter top tube length. Right. You know, it's uh, which is more common for women. Yeah. Than the, the Mi minimal changes that would make this bike fit properly. Yeah. So, um, tell us a little bit more about your company. Uh, it's a relatively new company in, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Uh, I've been in the business for for going on my thirteenth year. I always say fourteenth year because I hate the number thirteen. So <laughs> I kind of skipped thirteen. We'll skip thirteen. It's and, not that uh, new, though, that you've yeah, been doing it for a while. It's, a, it's the second year that I've been building frames, and it was uh, after many years of dealing with companies like Vicious Cycles and Independent and Moots and selling a lot of high-end product and fitting people on them and, and ha having them uh, right. built per customer. And Were I you just, based out of? Philadelphia. Okay. And I just kind of took it to the next level. I wanted to bring the bike shop to another level and add this to the line. So yeah. we, uh, we sell exclusively through the bike shop at this point and don't have any dealers, but we'll see where that goes. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for bringing this lovely creation. I almost wish I was shorter so that I could uh, go. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But, uh, it can be I, done bigger. I, I would like to ride. With 29 inch wheels. Uh, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Thank you very much. No, thank you. And uh, we're gonna take a short break. Thanks for joining us.